Hello everyone, this is uh, Kuka Jazz coming back at you with another informative video. Um, I got time, so I'm putting up another video here. I've uh, been getting a lot of emails. A lot of people want to know what my cleaning solution is. Now, not the enzymes, you know, not the, the wash at the end, but my main mixture. Now, uh, if you guys recall, I stopped using pretty much isopropyl uh, alcohol about man like eight years ago I think eight years ago so my mixture of cleaning um, you know after the enzymes if, if I use it or just when regular records come in is this um, you know about a little less than one third ethanol mostly just the water then add man not even point I don't know man dude not even I don't know point ten point fifteen Isoprop, uh, soap, and Triton, or Triton, or however you want to say it, you know, potato, potatoes. Um, and that's it. That's my mixture. That's my main mixture. Um, I'm going to do a little experiment here. I'm going to drop uh, the 91%, the ethanol, and 100% on the record. I'm going to let it sit for 15 minutes and see what happens. Um, again, that's why I use is ethanol. The most common uh, used alcohol that I've seen in cleaning mixtures is 91%. Now, I did find, if you Google it, um, I don't know what kind of thing comes up, like a Wikipedia or something. I have no idea what it is, but they say, um, you know, don't use anything less than 94. So, I don't know. You know what? Those things are kind of suspicious and, you know, just take them at face value. But um, that's what I'm going to do. We got 91 Ethanol and pure 100. I'm gonna drop it on the record and see what happens. I think I'm gonna let it sit for like 15 minutes and see if we see any difference. And um, you know, we can make it our conclusions. So I'm gonna drop the 100 right there. This is 100% isopropyl. Oh, that's too much. Let me see. I'm trying to put just enough where it doesn't like. Put this right in the middle here. All right, do that there. That's 100. Now I found a use for the uh, ink cap I bought the other day. I made the uh, record one. That would be good for. Yes. All right. So this is 91 over here. Mm. Put this right in the middle of the grooves. All right. And then, so we got 100, 91%, and then some denatured ethanol. That's too much. I'm trying not to saturate this thing. Let me see here. Ethanol down here. All right. All right, so we have the three mixtures here. Um, so let me, um, it's, it's death and loss is running, uh, but it's not going to mix. So um, <coughs> I'm going to cut the camera off uh, here. I'm going to wait uh, 15, 20 minutes to see what, what happens to the LP, if anything at all. So uh, see you guys in a little bit. All right, people. So in conclusion, um, you know, definitely really didn't leave any residue on the album. Uh, but if you see that right, right here, right there, if you see that right there, that is, let me see if I can focus this in. That right there is the 91% alcohol. Um, if we go a little further here. You see that right there? Let me see if I get a pen or something here. Uh, let me see if I can focus this. Right there. Come on, focus, focus. Uh, this right here, that is the 100%, is it? Yep. Uh, no, hold on. 
hundreds over here, but I think it it traveled. So there's a 91. You can see that right there, right all the way up, and then you can tell what a hundred begins right there. So that's I have no idea what that is. I don't know if it burnt into the uh, vinyl or not, but that's a hundred percent alcohol right there. 100% you see where you see that up there Compared to the ethanol This records really dirty too man, but that you can see where the 91 begins right there And then where it ends you see it right there coming up Right there And then that's what 100 so um, do what you wish. Does it really matter? Does it not? You know, I don't care. I'm gonna stick with ethanol. Um, as you see, the ethanol evaporated really. I mean, it was gone within a couple of, you know, four or five minutes. It was just completely off the record. While the both isoprop, the 91%, um, probably one that you buy at your local, you know, hardware store, or Walmart, or whatever, and the Pure 100. So, um, there you have it. Uh, while alcohol to use, pick your poison. Um, does it make a difference or not? You know, I don't know. But I'm going to stick with the one that, um, you know, doesn't leave any residue on my records. Um, I guess that's it for this one. So, peace. Uh, take care and keep it jazzy.